Hello fellow guardians, Bold Little Plays here bringing you another episode of Where in the Tower is Zer, Age of the Nine. It is the weekend of January 8th through the 10th, 2016. Zer is hanging out down in the tower north against the giant circular door. So let's see what he's got for us this week. Okay. Titans have the no backup plan gauntlets. So an exotic perk is force multiplier. Shotgun kills trigger force burial and force barriers duration is increased. It's got increased discipline or increased strength. It's got rain blows or impact induction. It's got shotgun loader. And machine gun loader. So, yeah, force barrier is towards uh, Defender Titan. I believe this is the best one for. I haven't really run shotgun since for the last month or so. So, but yeah, this was always a really good one if you were if you relied on shotgun a lot. This was really good, like in PvP 2, where you get a shotgun kill, you got a force barrier that'll help protect you when you run up to another guy for a shotgun kill. So if that's your kind of playstyle, shotguns definitely worth picking up. Otherwise, it can be a pass. Hunters are the Knucklehead Radar. Its exotic perk is Sensor Pack. Radar remains visible while aiming primary weapons. So it's just third eye on any primary. <laughs> It's got increased discipline, increased strength, inverse shadow, or ashes to assets, and better already. So the perks aren't too bad on this. This is another one of those that it just depends on your playstyle. If you're constantly sitting in your radar or sitting in aiming down sights, and that for PvP or PvE, it'd be worth using. But otherwise, it can be a pass. There's better exotics out there. Warlocks, the Apotheosis Veil. Uh, first time he's offering this helmet for year two, so, and I do not have this one, so I'll be grabbing that. It's the one exotic armor piece I don't have yet. So its exotic perk is Private Reserves. Immediately regenerate health, melee, and grenade energy upon activating your super. Intellect or strength, inverse shadow or second thoughts, and infusion. So replenish health each time you pick up an orb. So this would have been an amazing helmet for year one, like Crota. It's basically anywhere where the, this helmet is like double duty, especially with infusion, it's double duty on anywhere where your health doesn't regen. So any area where your health doesn't regen, you're running around without regening. Or even if you're running around where you're getting nailed a lot, like in a nightfall or something where you're getting beat up a lot, you can pop your super to regen all your health. Or you can pick up an orb to regen your health. So very useful in tight situations. I'd say it's a pickup. It can become in very handy. It was an amazing helmet to use for Crota, at the end of Crota. And then for hard mode stuff like that where you didn't regen your health at Crota in hard mode so a weapon this week Dragon's Breath Rocket Launcher he's already offered this a couple weeks back so it's exotic perk is Napalm so you release the trigger after weapon fire to drop a solar damage Napalm canister so you literally shoot hold the button down and a canister will come out and you can let go and it'll sh Explode into napalm, so it's just fire all over the ground. Very fun to play around with. Smart drift control, linear compensator, or combined launch, surplus, quick draw, javelin, or speed reload, and who's next? So, definitely, the who's next is very helpful. Kill, if as long as you get a kill with it. 
because it's always the final round of magazine because the magazine is only one surplus find extra ammo so that's the one downside this it's only got a magazine of one so you probably you have to reload after every shot and then the blast radius isn't that huge and the velocity is horrible too general helps a little bit but it's not a super fast fire rate help this is more for like if you're doing PVE stuff where you have a mob of enemies all grouped together. You can shoot and napalm them all. And just watch them burn. But it's, it's definitely worth picking up. It's it's a much better gun than it was in year one. And it's just a hell of a fun time to play with. Uh, the Legacy Engram this week is a heavy weapon engram. Remember, Legacy is year one, so it's just for if you're trying to finish off the collection year one, or hoping to nab, if you're just starting to take and king or something, or you're trying to get a year one heavy, or year two heavy that has a year one version, so like a truth or something, you could try your luck at getting a truth out of this for year one, and then go and buying the year two out of the blueprints. Otherwise, I'd say definitely save your money, especially for only for 31 strange coins. Uh, Curios this week, we have the Plasma Drive, or the Stealth Drive, we have the three Heavy Ammo Synthesis, we have three of Coins, five of them, there's seven Strange Coins, and then we have the three Glass Needles. The Material Exchange, like always, you can get a Motolite for two Strange Coins. So that was Zer for the weekend of January 8th through the 10th. Nothing spectacular, but everything's decent. I mean, it's so so. It's a lot of it depends on your playstyle. Um, Warlock helmet could be pretty useful. Dragon's breath is not a must-have, but it sure is fun. If you got the strange coins to spend on everything, or if you just need a decent rocket, if you don't have a decent rocket, period, it, it's a good stopgap. While you try to get something that's got like grenades and horseshoes, or at least tracking on it. But yeah, nothing nothing really to call out this week. It's all just so-so. Not bottom of the barrel for most stuff, but yeah. Uh, make sure to like, comment, share. Let me know your thoughts on what Zer had this week. If your opinion differs on any of this stuff. If you got helpful hints for times to be using any of this exotic gear. Make sure to check out my other videos over at youtube.com slash c slash boltzilla plays. And you can check me out streaming from time to time over at twitch.tv slash boltzilla plays. Till next time, Guardians, take it easy.